Hi there, I hope you're doing well. I'm excited for today's video as I will be showing you um, the fragrances that I got as gifts for my families and friends. And also all these fragrances, I haven't owned them nor used them. So this is also like a um, first impression video for all these fragrances. So I got all these um, fragrances at the chemist and these are really all very affordable and I believe they are also a very good um, fragrances. So it's perfect if you want to, if you're planning to give um, fragrances to your as gifts to your friends or family. So the first one that I have is from, by night and it only says um, night woman and green. So it doesn't shown much on the box about the perfume i never even know that this perfume exists so when i saw this and the price i think this is only under ten dollar i think it's nine dollar if i'm not mistaken and this is the bottle it's very simple i actually like bottles like this and this is the cap it has like some details in there so this is a 100 ml bottle so by the color itself, I can tell maybe this is a citrusy, summery fragrances. So I have um, a paper here where I will spray so we can tell how this smells like. Let's see. Oh, it's floral. It's very floral. But I can smell a bit of like a fruit. It's a fruity floral scent. It's very feminine. It reminds me of um, like there is a dominant scent in it, like raspberry or strawberry, some berry fruits in it. For the first time, it's it's floral. It's not bad. I like it. It is an EDT. It's an EDT perfume, natural spray. So I wonder the lasting power if it's good. But the smell is really good for the price. So it's night women. And then next I have, this is Nike Man, and this is in Indigo. So I think the name of the perfume is just the color. That one is green and this one is Indigo. Actually, there's more in there. They have pink, they have red, they have a lot. I actually want to grab all of those um, colors that I wanted to try another perfume as well to give, not just all in one um, brand. So I just got two. Um, green for women and then this indigo for men So it's still the same price. I think it's really a bargain and it's, it smells really good So this one this is how it looks like so it's just the same one as the green um, Only the color is different. I Can smell from the nozzle already It's really good. It's very fresh more cologne scent but there's a little bit of sweetness in it it's good for summer um summer i think which is perfect because i will be going overseas in that place it's um hot tropical country so i think these perfumes are perfect for gift giving in there so they're both this one is floral and fruity and this one is more of a cologne scent of a man it's like an aftershave after shower kind of scent. I really like the smell. Next I have here, um, this is Born Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. So the one that I have is Lovely and this one is Born Lovely and it is a body mist. I didn't even know that they do have a body mist version of this one. This is a 236 ml and I got this for, let me grab my receipt. $9.99 so it's $10 230 mil and I expected it to be a bit more the same as the lovely one by Jessica but it's different that one that lovely one is more for me very clean scent very clean and mild but this one is more has a younger scent in it yeah it's, it's a bit more stronger bit more stronger and sweeter i can tell it's more youthful than the lovely one so it's perfect giving this to young ladies in the family 
Yeah, it's also fruity. It reminds me of those Victoria's Secret body mist. It's a bit like that. Next, I have... Um, this is another Born Lovely perfume. So, okay. I'm gonna remove the seal in here. So I'm trying not to because I want them to open it. I want to give them the excitement of opening the wraps. But for the sake of this video, and I also want to see how it looks like. So I'm gonna open it. So... So this is the same um, size as the one that I have lovely, but this is born lovely. This is the same price as the body mist. It's, this is also $9. Oh, look at the bottle. It's very cute. See? With this pink ribbon. And it has like a darker um, shade, the bottle, because the lovely one that I have is like clear. This one, it has, you can see. And the ribbon it's very cute this is only i think um 30 mil yeah this is 30 mil but it has the same price as the no actually this is um, yeah this is in 30 mil but the same price as the 250 uh, mil in here I don't know why. Maybe it's the formulation because this is a body mist. And this one, I think it's an EDT or EDT perfume. EDT. So maybe that's why. But I really like it. It's cute. Yep. And I think they have the same scent as the body mist. Only the formulation is different. But we'll try. Give it one spritz. Yeah. Yeah, it has the same one. Okay, so next one I have another. Oh, this is lovely. So, but in body mist as well. So I already have. So I think this is the only one, same as mine. But mine is in it's the perfume bottle, not a body mist. So I'm surprised they actually have a body mist version of this. Let's see if it's the same one. Yeah, it's the same smell. But it's good that they have it in body mist. 230 ml. Big one. And then next I have here another Sarah Jessica Parker NYC. So I always see this one in reviews, um, perfume videos, but I never have this and I never smell this perfume. I think I've seen a lot of good reviews with this one. So I think this is also $9.99, 30 ml. So this is how the bottle looks like. It's very cute. Okay. Okay. So I thought it's like a pink sugar that when you open it, there's another perfume. So, but this is the bottle itself. Okay, so now I want to see how this actually looks like. I'm actually quite curious with this smell for a long time now. So I've always seen this in review, but I don't own this um, myself. I think, okay, so here. Oh, it's very sweet. It's different from her other perfumes, like Lovely. Even the other one, Born Lovely, is different. This is more fruity. It's very sweet. It's a very fruity, sweet scent. But I don't think it has a gourmand. It's not, there's no vanilla in it. I think it's more on berry, berry fruit scent. This one, it's, it's also good. I like Sarah Jessica Parker's perfume. Next, I have... This is for men's Adidas. Develop with Atlas EDT. So, pure game. So, I think this is the only... Yeah, this is the only... I think they have a red version of this one as well. So, this is how it looks like. Very simple bottle. Nothing much going on. And then the smell, I'm guessing this is also like a cologne kind of scent. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I think I've smelled this perfume, this kind of scent a lot. It's very common, like a cologne, but it's good. I like it. Yeah, it's like a cologne as well. Very fresh smelling. There's a lemon um, citrusy scent on it. Well, I can tell by the color itself. Looks like a summery fragrance. 
which is again perfect it's what i'm looking for so next i have um i have here two this is um afl um australian football league so i have both of these so this is how it looks like so i'm not sure if they have um, the same scent or it's just the um the colors are different or they actually um, smell differently so i'm gonna go through the first one this is in 100 ml bottle so i chose this one because of um it looks more like a souvenir so it is good for gift giving as well so that's how it looks like outside so it's in a tin box and this is it inside so it has like that that uniform football uniform around the bottle okay so this is how the bottle looks like it's pretty simple reminds me of the john paul gaultier um design if you can see in there it has some detail in there they just covered it with this mini uniform in here so the scent is quite different Let's see okay this is also another but this one is stronger than the other um men's perfume that i've shown you this one is quite fresh as well but it's stronger it's a bit stronger but not too strong like it would be so um cloying or something but this is also um like a cologne it has a cologne um scent on it after shave but it's more um stronger and it also changes it's more becoming more like a lemony it's a citrus scent um citrusy scent on it as well which is good so i'm liking all the men's fragrance that i that i got so and the other one is this so we'll see if they have the same scent or different Okay, so I tried both and I cannot tell the difference. So if I'm not mistaken, I think they just have the same scent. Only the team color is different. So I got this for $14.99 each. Okay, so I have a few more in this bag and I'm going to quickly go through it. So this one is in set. This is the body lotion and the perfume. Um, the brand is called Monotheme. I'm not sure if you're not familiar with it if you're familiar with it but i'm gonna show you so this is 75 ml body lotion and the perfume is in full bottle here. So again it is still um, sealed i hate opening a seal but it's okay we want to check this out so this is the box monotheme um, apotheos de rose so they have four fragrances on this one if i'm not mistaken they have the vanilla they have the true bros um they have the akume de cecilia white gardenia and then this one so i've been eyeing the vanilla as well but for now i'm gonna try this so this is the bottle how it looks like this is the cap with like m in there for mono theme so we'll try the scent very fresh very floral very mild it's not strong at all i'm expecting to have like a um, dominant smell of a rose in it because of the name but it's not okay, i'm gonna spray it on and check it out Yeah, it's, it's floral and sweet, but there's no strong rosy scent in it as I expected it. But it's it's really good. It's good. I feel like I want myself as well. I want one myself. Yeah, it's it has a floral. I'm not sure if there's a fruity scent in it, but I'm sure it's floral. I cannot tell what note is in. But it's very mild. It's not strong at all actually good um it's nice it does not have a dominant um rosy smell on it because sometimes i hate like when all i can smell is just rose 
But this one is very floral, very clean, very mild scent. So this is the both Yost de Rose. So I'm thinking of getting one myself. So I like the scent. So the next one I have here, another set. This is um, Green Tea by Elizabeth Arden. So also comes with um, set, a body cream. So I'm sure most of you are already familiar with this one. I've been seeing this um, in the reviews, perfume videos, but I never owned this myself. Haven't even smelled this one yet. So I'm really curious. I want to know. The bottle is so sleek. It's very thin, very slim. I like um, bottles like this than the big bulky ones. I'm expecting this to be to smell like green tea as the name itself. But I'm hoping there will be another notes, exciting notes in there as well. Okay, so I could really smell the tea on it. It's very, um, aside from the tea, I can smell there is like a, some citrusy scent on it. But the green tea is very dominant, but not in a bad way, not bitter or anything like that. It's more, um, I, there's also a strong lemony scent on it. So it's like green tea with lemon kind of scent. So I have the last one for the men's fragrance. Men's fragrance. This is Intimately Beckham Men's ADT Natural Spray. So this is the bottle. Look at that. This is in, this is not in full. This is 75 ml bottle. The bottle I think is very elegant and classy. Okay. It's strong. I can tell from the bottle itself. It looks so elegant, classy, and mature. So I'm not expecting this to smell like a cologne or aftershave kind of scent. And I'm right. It's, it smells mature, but not the kind of mature like you know what I mean but it's like more manly kind of perfume strong which is perfect because we will be giving this to um, my father-in-law so I think the smell is perfect for him I do like it so this is intimately Beckham okay and we're down to two um, fragrances but this one I did not shop it but I got it from my um, own collection so I'm giving this two away because um, they're just not for me I did not use this one much and if I'm afraid that I won't be using them at all and I don't want I don't want to give them away because they're part of my collection but I think it's more of a waste if I just let them sit in there and wait for it to expire so these are both good perfumes so I'm sure everyone um, I mean so there are some that would enjoy this so i will just give this away this is the escada um, aqua del sol as you can see i haven't used much it's almost full so um i blind buy this one i'm a blind buyer and so yeah it's a hit, hit and miss so this one i missed this one i didn't i think it's a good perfume but it's just not for me it's sweet but not the kind of um sweet scent that i like and i'm expecting this to be more like fresh floral because of the uh, more of a tropical summery scent but it's not so i've tried using this several times but it's not just for me so i'm just gonna give this away so others can enjoy it and then the other one is this um rebel fleur by rihanna so this one i've used this one as well but um i've used this more than a few times as you can see it's only up to here because i keep trying i want to like this perfume because i've seen many are raving this one i've seen good reviews of this that's why i bought it online but again it's not for me it's the scent it's, it's not the scent that i just it's not just in my liking so I'd better give it away before it expired so others can also enjoy it okay so that's all for this video i hope you enjoy watching it and thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe for more videos Just